City of Phoenix spent much of the morning and the day cleaning up the zone near the state capitol. They offered shelter to anyone who wanted it, and once that cleaning was completed, the homeless had the option to put their tents back up and remain there. Fox 10's Irene Snyder has more. Brian Davis says life wasn't always like this. So I was working, you know what I'm saying, back in 2019, you know what I'm saying, and uh, due to COVID, you know, times got hard, and I lost family members, and um, stuff just has been kind of hard, you know what I'm saying, and I've been forced to be out here for a little second and just trying to get back. He and his five-month-old pup, Kane, are among dozens living in the zone off West Jefferson Street in Phoenix. Kind of a little hard, but... It's going to be all right. Many of the people living here spent the morning packing up their belongings for an extended sweep. The goal is to get people off the streets and to clean up the area for those who decide to stay. But ultimately, the best thing we've been able to do is offer every single person that's on that section of the street right now a uh, shelter opportunity. Scott Hall, Deputy Director of Homeless Solutions for the City of Phoenix, says a couple dozen people have accepted their offer for shelter. City Council also approving a plan to turn dozens of shipping containers into livable homes. They would open up in mid-2023. Frank Urban says he used to be homeless. He's now with the Fund for Empowerment. And he's concerned with today's cleanup, people will lose personal items. We've had our belongings take belongings taken and discarded by the Phoenix Police Department too many times to count. But Hall says their belongings were set aside. We have people out here currently on shelter and we're out here offering services, offering placement into shelter, while we also have a staging area for people to move the belongings they want to keep. So people like Brian can get the help they need. We're just going to put it in God's hand and everything going to be all right. Irene Snyder, Fox 10 News. The city of Phoenix says 40 people were staying in the area. They were all offered a bed at a shelter and 33 of them accepted.